everyone, Polly here, and welcome back to my vlog. Today, I've got a super cool DIY craft tutorial for you. Are you ready? I'm going to teach you how to make DIY friendship bracelets with these super cool beads. You can find beads just like these in all sorts of shapes, colors, and sizes at your local craft store. So let's get started. Uh, let's see. We need some thread. Where have I put it? Ah, here we go. Cut a piece of string or thread. I've used thread, like this. And tie a nice tight knot at the bottom of one end. This is to prevent the beads from falling off. You can add the beads on however you like. Lila always makes her bracelets with a color scheme in mind. Shawnee likes to stick to patterns. And I like to use whatever colors I'm feeling in the moment. As you add more beads, check the knot on your string or thread to make sure it's still holding up. That's it! Perfect! The most important thing to remember when making friendship bracelets is to make them personal. The bracelet should remind you of your friends and the moments you've shared together. Oops! Let me grab that one. Where has it gone? I can't see anything. How can I find that bead quicker? Maybe a change of perspective will help with the search. Tiny power! It couldn't have gone far. Oh, ouch! What was that? Where is this coming from? Oh, I remember! We went to this beautiful beach on last year's school trip. These seashells are gonna go in my special collection! Look how many I found! Yeah, I love these ones that are curly and shiny. What about you, Polly? Which ones are your favorite? This one! It was fun to start a seashell collection. <laughs> I have an idea! I could use this seashell to create a new friendship bracelet. I'll make a special one with items that represent some of my favorite memories with Lila and Shawnee. <laughs> Lila repaired one of my dresses with this type of button. And this is a spare nut from a science project given to me by Shawnee. I can't believe this. I thought I lost this gem years ago. This was a joint gift from Lila and Shawnee for my birthday. That was such a great day. <gasps> oh no! Aww. That was such a nice memory. Wait a minute, it's still a nice memory. And I can maybe make something out of it. This piece of leather is perfect for the main part of the bracelet. I can glue the broken pieces of the gem on it. Look how shiny it is. Now let's add the finishing touches. <laughs> the nut first. Now the seashell and button. And that's it. This is the most amazing friendship bracelet. See? There's no right or wrong way to make a friendship bracelet. As long as you create it from the heart, the end result is always beautiful. It's always fun to get creative and even recycle while doing so. Like my gem friendship bracelet. It perfectly summarizes my friendship with Shawnee and Lila. And I think it's even more precious now than the original gem on its own. That was so much fun! Okay, signing off for now! And remember, Tiny is mighty!